Welcome back to the Hillbilly Farmers. We hope y'all have been doing well out there. Today's video is the second part of our build series, which is the construction of this building. Today's video is also sponsored by Steel Buildings and Structures Incorporated. They're the ones who put up this building and uh, made it all happen for us. So we are greatly appreciative of that. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. We're just gonna try and talk to you about how the build went and also things that you can expect during the build. So let's jump right into it. And here they are, bright and early, ready to go. They arrived on site here at about 6.15 a.m. They went ahead and got started laying out some of the uh, two and a half inch metal tubing out here. And there we are kind of showing just to go over some things with them to make sure everything's uh, gonna go well for the, for the day's build. You kind of see they're getting things prepared. They're laying out the base rail, making sure it's all squared up. Everything's in there where it needs to be. They're also laying out the wall opening framing as well. They were kind enough to put down some silicone below the base rail. We had to provide that. It is not something that they offer as a service, but these gentlemen right here were kind enough to go ahead and install that for us. Just to try and help out with any water infiltration around the edges. Now, what they're doing right now is they're installing the rafters and columns the first little bit here they did install a couple anchors down here to hold the base rail in place and as you can see it goes up pretty quickly so there's the end column and rafter going to go do some more stuff here as this has been going on or as it will be going on in this video uh, two of the guys are adding the columns to the rafters, getting them fastened on. And then this other gentleman here you see in the shot, he's running around doing other things in between. Here's a decent shot of what they're doing there. The next step they're going to do is install the U-channel brace. After they get those fastened on. There they are getting the U-channel bracing on now on the other side. And then they just grab a hold of it and throw it up just like they did on the other one there. There as you can see, he's using the hammer drill to go ahead and get the other anchor points drilled through. On the base rail, all of these holes are pre-drilled so they didn't have to worry about that. And then there's a good look at the sleeve itself on the base rail that they're sliding the columns and rafters onto. Pretty good look at it right there. But there again, as you can see, he's going through here doing a bunch of extra work in between while they're getting the columns and rafters assembled out. Oh, there's a good shot of it right there. Good shot of the sleeves there. I'm not mistaken, they should be picking that one up and getting ready to go install it. I notice a gentleman on the right. He'll come over and give my hand to set these. There it goes, getting them all lined up. And there we go. Two sets of columns and rafters are up. You'll notice he's just going around here and making sure all those holes are drilled to get ready for the anchors themselves. Buzzing right around. Then here they come with the other one. Now they're going on to pull up the wall opening framing. This process was a little bit time consuming. You have a lot more of those joints to try and hit and get everything to line up. Mm 
<clears throat> He'll come up on a ladder here and pick this thing up to try and get it all lined up and insert it into those sleeves. I did have a lot of voiceover things recorded here, excuse me, um, audio recording within this video, but they had a radio playing and I was afraid that YouTube would not like it for music copyright. So I was not able to use that part of the audio. That's why you're hearing me speak now. You'll hear a little bit of audio here and there when I can get far enough away from the radio and there's sometimes when the radio is not even on. So that helps out some too. Oh, waiting for them to install that aspect of it right there. I'll go ahead and cover a couple things with you. It was nice we got a courtesy call from the manufacturer during the build. That was when these guys were here working just to make sure everything was going okay. So that was nice to know that the, uh, the manufacturing facility actually cared enough to do that and let you know that if something's going on, to give them a call. So I never had to call them about anything. These guys did a great job. Uh, we also decided not to get the garage doors that come with the kit. Uh, the main reason for that is we wanted insulated garage doors because we will be heating and cooling this structure in the future. So we just wanted to make sure that uh, we were getting a good seal on that aspect of it as well. One more thing to note here as we're getting that installed is to get your job site nice and prepared. What I mean by that is go ahead and fill in where your, uh, <clears throat> where your forms were for your uh, concrete pad, your footings, get any type of holes filled you have, anything like that to make it nice and easy for these guys to work. They really do appreciate having a nice level job site. I do mean relatively level. So we were fortunate enough to get some to come in with the skid steer and fill that in for us before this building showed up, which is very nice as well. And it should just about have this thing mounted or installed in the sleeves rather. A little bit of a tricky situation here. They are not too far away from having it all down inside of there. And there it goes, just like that. I'm gonna knock these ends here just a little bit more. Should be getting ready to fall in right about there. There it is. This is, well, what they're doing here, my apologies. What they're doing here is they're just going ahead and put a brace on that to hold that in place. You got a level over there, so try to make sure it's nice and level as they install everything. And they just keep carrying on just like that. The other fellow there that you're seeing in the shop, he's installing the anchor bolts at this point in time, and we'll zoom into that here. There we go, getting up to the anchor bolts. All right, and they just keep on moving along with the columns and rafters, getting those installed. Right there, here's a closer look at what's happening. Another shot of them installing a column onto the rafter. Just figured y'all would want to see that. It's a little bit different just because uh, of the wall opening framing. As you can see in the right hand side of the shot there, there is that level. They spent a lot of time making sure this building was square and level, which was much appreciated as well. And there they go with that one. And again, I wanted to show you guys this in real time speed on these aspects, because it's, it's really amazing how quick this thing goes together. I was uh, quite
quite surprised. I had been warned, but I was quite surprised how quick. There they are getting everything lined up and I'll put this last one into position. Just like that, only three more to go. And right here, I'll jump in and talk to you about some other stuff on the morning of this install. Well, I gotta tell you, this is going a lot faster than what I expected, quite a bit faster. So this is Monday morning, and this particular trailer right here was loaded up at Steel Buildings and Structures Incorporated, I believe their Mount Airy facility. This was loaded up and ready to go Friday night. So what they did is they went to the shop to go pick up this trailer Sunday evening, stayed in a local hotel room, and then came here. So they got everything loaded here, ready to rock and roll. And you're already that far along with it. So quite impressive. So if you want something that goes up pretty quick, this is probably the type of structure you may be interested in. And there they are right now going up with another one. We're thinking this might bleed into Tuesday as far as I'm working. So we'll see, but at the moment it's looking like they may have this thing done today. But it's looking good. And taking care to make sure it's all square. Things are level. Even got a uh, laser level out there right now. And you're also making marks as they go along too. So yeah, it's coming along. Those marks they're making around running right there are gonna be the mounting hard mounting locations for the girders. They kind of work on that throughout the entire process. Just whenever they have filler time, need something to do, they'll go through, mark those, and start installing the brackets. So that's why the level's out there at that point in time. Right here, what they're doing is they're installing the fasteners from the columns to the base rails, getting everything installed where it needs to be. So they're done with that level. They've already made all the marks they need on the columns for the girders themselves. And they come up on the ends here with one of the purlins. There again, just trying to make sure everything's getting locked into place here. One of those mini steps. Some of the purlins. And then you'll notice the gentleman there in the background is already starting to install the columns for the end wall, which is not a load bearing piece. Neither end is load bearing here. Only the longer sides are load bearing. But we'll need those to be there to hold the metal in place. Right now they're starting to install some of the purlins here. Getting those mounted on. And they kind of multitask here at this one as well. This one gentleman here is already up on the ladder on the left hand side of the screen. So he is getting ready to help install another one of those columns on that end wall. Yep, and there they go. Of course, you see the gentleman there in the very back of the structure there. He's just getting those purlins installed over there as well. And here they come with the purlins on down that way toward the camera there.
You'll notice on the back wall here, they are starting to install a girder and that is gonna be for one of the windows. Getting all that fabricated up, measured out. Got all the purlins installed here, looking pretty good. Getting the window installed right now. All right, looking good. All righty, so they are going through putting a strap on the structure right now so that they can go ahead and pull this structure more into place. Again, they do this throughout the process, making sure everything is as square and level as possible. Now what you're seeing happening in the very middle of the structure at the moment, that gentleman is starting to cut out the girders. He's going through taking a bunch of measurements and he will be cutting those for quite some time. There we are making sure this side of the building is all nice and level, squared up, and installing a strap to go ahead and pull it where it needs to go. As you can see at this point in time, they're starting to install the columns on the end wall that is closest to us here on camera. They have this end wall completed, window framed out. Working on the girders right now, getting them installed. There is one nice thing about the girders, is two things. Number one, it's gonna strengthen up the uh, building a little bit. And number two, that'll allow us to have the vertical sheet metal on this structure. So I highly recommend that. Of course, as you can imagine, as they fasten that sheet metal on, it's gonna make it even more rigid. But it's coming along nicely. Can't see it's taking too much off of longer before they start putting sheet metal on. Indeed, th things are coming along pretty good. As you can see by the shadow moving along there, I would have to take a wild guess that this is probably pushing about 1.30 p.m. in the day, roughly. Bit of a guess on that. I don't recall exactly when this was. And there they are just making sure things nice and squared up. And they're starting to work on the man door here or the personnel door, whatever you prefer to call it. Adding another strap there to try and get this going. Now he did spend a lot of time on this door. I think in reality, it was probably about an hour or so to really try and make sure that door was opening and closing properly. Took great care to make that happen. And the door, as you can imagine, opens and closes very, very nicely. So he spent a lot of time on that and no issues with that door whatsoever. Didn't have any issues with the build Hardly at all, nothing was really wrong with it. It was actually all put together very well. I couldn't be more happy. There they are getting a lot of these girders installed. Just a whole lot of work. Had to run here to talk about some windows. And as you can see, they're still working on trying to make sure it's nice and level. Always checking, double checking, triple checking. Just more girts and more girts and more girts. Getting 
get them all installed. There again, I just, totally amazed at how fast these guys can get this done. I know that they probably do it very often. And as you can imagine, they're not getting paid by the hour here, they're getting paid by the job. So the faster they can get it done and move on to the next one, the faster they can get their paychecks and I would imagine get back to their families. So definitely a motivating factor right there. Things are looking pretty good. Looks like they about have all the girders installed. A few more to go. Probably won't be too long before the sheet metal starts going on. We did change one thing. We were supposed to have a window right here. But the column right here with the doors mounted on the right hand side came a little bit further out than we anticipated, which is okay. No big deal. So we decided to go ahead and delete the window from right there and actually install the window right over here, as you can see. Right there, and then we decided to go ahead and put the other window equidistant right over here at the X. So not exactly what we planned, but it's okay. The garage doors that we plan to install will have windows inside of them as well. So we should have windows about the fourth panel up on this garage door and then windows about the fourth panel up on this garage door here. So we should have some pretty good light all the way around here, natural light that is. The ship is coming along. And at this point they start unloading the sheet metal off of the truck. This will be the end wall to the left over here. So we're not too far from them starting to install that and there they go. And there we have it, the sheet metal's going on. Shouldn't be too much awful longer. We're sitting at about 3.30 p.m. The sun sets here at about 4.30, so we're not too far from that. That's this time of year anyway. So it looks like this is gonna bleed into Tuesday by just a little bit, but that's okay, it was expected. So we did the sides in barn red, the top in black with white trim. So yep. It's going to be pretty quick now. And there's a shot from the back side just to kind of get you a different angle on the installation here. I'll talk some more about how they're doing the install on that sheet metal here in just a second. They've got all the sheet metal laid out for this side and they are cutting it off, cutting off the uh, angled pieces for the roof there on the ground. Then they come back up here and just tack it up initially. Just to get it to hold in place. Not a very windy day on this build day, which was nice. Then once they go, they'll see they'll put a string line across there and then they will start to install the fasteners on that string line for a really nice install. And as you can see, they're wiping away that chalk as they go. And it's the same thing here on the back side of the building. Put enough screws in it just to hold it in place. And then they will come back and install the rest of the fasteners. At this point in time, it's starting to get pretty dark on them. As you can see, they've already started to bust out their headlights. They're not done yet. They keep on trucking. And we've got Jason showed up. He's working on the floor drains to try and get them out of their way. Get those cut off and flush with the floor. He had to bring his truck, which was nice. He has a big light bar on his roof rack system. And the guys that are out here working definitely enjoyed having that extra light. I know that they're probably used to working with headlights at night quite often, but 
I'd recommend if you could provide them with job site lighting of some sort, that would be pretty nice. We did have power on site for them. They can bring a generator if needed, and they did bring a generator. They did up use, they used our on site power, but uh, the generator, they used that just for when they were cutting the metal. This had a little bit more power. So it's pretty interesting how they go through this here. Overlapping the sheet metal as little as possible. And what I mean by that is not installing a full sheet across the whole garage door opening. So we're actually stalling right here, trying to keep uh, Jason here with his truck running to utilize his lighting. But we weren't really stalling too much. He was doing it on purpose. But there they are cutting out the garage door openings and they just use a sawzall with a metal blade to cut those out. Then you'll see them coming around cutting out the windows out of the back side here very shortly. There they are on the side wall cutting it out. And then the other side wall getting that cut out. And there's the trim installation right there. And at that point in time, we were done for the day. They stayed until 8 p.m. working from 6.15 a.m. until 8 p.m. They got back on the job site here at about 6.45 a.m. the following day on Tuesday and went right at it. As you can see, they started to install the roofing was one of the first things they pretty much started off with here. And they're doing it in about the same fashion. They are just fastening the metal down just enough to keep the wind from blowing it away. Again, it's not a windy day out there. But also, as you can imagine, so they don't slide off the roof when they're stepping on the metal. Which would probably not be a pleasant experience if that were to occur. But the roof is pretty easy to work with here just because there's not much slope on it. Which we can achieve very little slope with a metal roof as opposed to uh, asphalt shingle roof. I don't think this would probably be quite enough pitch for that to be on the safe side anyway. And there he goes installing the screws. And here they are installing the soffit slash fascia. I believe that's fairly interchangeable in this situation. Getting that all installed. And of course, as you can see, getting all the screws and the sheet metal up there. Yep, rocking and rolling. So this project right here, sorry about the camera stuff there, not too far from being finished. Looking pretty good. There they are continuing to install the screws in the roof and working on that soffit fascia. Again, I think that's kind of interchangeable in this situation. Working on around the back side there too. As you can see, they're installing the trim there. And here shortly, they will take a blower to the roof, blow everything off, clean it off, and also clean up the site. All said and done, they were finished up by 11 a.m. on Tuesday. So that was quite impressive in itself. Installing just a little bit more of the metal on the roof. Going ahead and trimming out the windows, which I have a closer shot of that for y'all here coming up in just a moment. There's the blower cleaning off the roof. Going ahead and making sure everything's fastened in. And then there's the trim on the window as an example. Too bad they did take some silicone to it as well to try and seal it up and we haven't had any issues. 
We want to thank Steel Buildings and Structures Incorporated again for sponsoring this video and giving us a hand with the build out here. We greatly appreciate it. Be sure to check them out for sure. And here is their website right here. We'll go ahead and click on the different building types they have. They have clear span buildings, custom steel structures, enclosed garages, metal carports, and steel barns. We'll go ahead and click on the enclosed garages section here. And as you'll see, all sorts of different shapes, sizes, and colors. And they can also do custom build buildings for you if you would like. Well, thank you all so much for watching. We greatly appreciate it. We hope you all have a good one, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.